first Perseverance Award speech. And his wife, Karen, and I, we talk on a weekly basis. And I always tell Karen, I said, you know, Ronnie's unfortunately gone. But because of me and what I believe in Ambit, he will never be forgotten. And in every single training that I've always done, I always play this video because I want Ronnie to impact your life just as much as he impacted mine. So we'll go ahead and start this uh, next little video for you. And I'm such a bad clicker operator, I'm not sure if it's going to, oh yeah, I did bad. I did good. I did good. You can't clap long now, I ain't got much time. <laughs> hey. In this serious note, I want to talk to you about three, what I call truisms or power phrases that if you understand and believe them, they will change your life just like they've changed mine and Karen's life forever. The first was given us by an incredible CEO, Mr. Jerry Thompson. When I heard him say, and all of you know it, Never sacrifice integrity for growth. That's all I've been looking for my whole life. I couldn't believe it. When somebody actually had, had proven you can do it the right way and still be the best and the biggest. And Mr. Thompson, let me tell you what I predict. Let me tell you, I, believe, I know this in my heart. I watched McDonald's change franchising from a illegal whatever to the number one business way of doing business in America. I watched when it only passed to be legal in Congress by two votes. And now everybody looks at franchising as a great way to do business. They made a permanent change in the way business is done in America. And Mr. Thompson, I never dreamed that I'd be able to live long enough to be a part of a company that's going to do the exact same thing to network marketing. What an incredible gift he has given us. You'll be able to tell your grandchildren, yes, I helped do that. But you couldn't have done it without a leader with a goodness in his heart that Mr. Thompson has. He wants to do it the right way. And that's all I've been looking for all my life. And I had the great pleasure last night to sit by Mr. and Ms. Thompson Sr., and let me tell you something, Mr. Thompson. I know where he got it from. I had a good daddy, too. <laughs> the second thing, the power of a made-up mind. Do you understand the power of a made-up mind? Just created eight gold medals for the first time in history. The power of a made-up mind put people on the moon. The power of a made-up mind broke the four-minute mile barrier. And folks, let me tell you something. The power of a made-up mind has been good for Ronnie Kirkland. Let me tell you what I know for a fact. You can't be great before you're good. And you can't be good before you're bad. And you can't be bad unless you're willing to try. And it's all belief in yourself first. Wake up every day of your life. If you, let me tell you first, you got to understand what this company is paying us to do. You must understand this. It is locate, educate, and motivate ambitious people. Locating is the toughest. But when you have the power of the made-up mind on your side, you have the ability to focus on that goal. And when you focus on that goal, and it, it, it is a great mentor told me one time, see, this is a law in the free enterprise system. It'll never change. 
Thank the Lord it'll never change. If you want to, if you, if you want the easy way, you'll make, you, you won't make nothing. If you apply yourself real hard, you'll make a living. But folks, they don't pay easy nothing. Thank the Lord that this is not a socialistic society. Folks, if you want to go for the gold and you want to be the big dog, you find something you've got a passion about. That you'd be willing to do it for nothing if somebody would feed your family. And then you believe in yourself and you go for it and you go for the gold and never quit and never give up. My father was a very brilliant man with a third grade education. Smartest man I've ever been around. He used to read the Bible to us every morning before he allowed us to eat. And I remember when he, I remember just like yesterday, when I was six years old, the first time I recall it, he said, son, you see right here? It says if you'll knock, that door will open. And then he took a deep breath and he looked at me and I looked up at him. He said, son, but it didn't say it happened on the first knock. The power of a made-up mind. Nobody can stop you. And the last and the most important was, phrase was given to us by our incredible chief marketing officer, Chris Chambers. When he said, get paid for what you start, I happened to know a minute. I watched him in a former company Fight for the right of the rep, day in and day out. I don't believe you could make him misrepresent something or deceive you if you had a gun to his head. So when Lane Winson made that call for Ronnie Kirkland, thank God, and he started telling me about residual income to unlimited levels, I said, Lane, that's impossible. <laughs> that ain't never happened before and that ain't going to happen. They got you fooled, boy. And then I was smart, I, I, I was just curious enough, I said, do I know anybody else doing it besides you? <laughs> he said, have you ever heard of Philip Eckhart? I said, Lord, yes, I know for a fact he's smart and works hard and always successful. <laughs> and then he told me, Steve Thompson. And then he told me, Brian McClure, and I knew he was the best judge of an opportunity that I'd ever met in my whole life. But the eyes had only cake is when he told me Chris Chambliss was the chief marketing officer of this company. I've run out of time, so I've got to hurry. Chris Chambliss. See, my wife, I didn't know her when I was making all that money and throwing it away with a, with a telecom company. She didn't know Chris and Brian or lame. So I had a hard time talking her in here and just come listen. And after we spent about 45 minutes with Chris and Jerry and Brian, we took a little short break. And she said, baby, I was wrong. If you will follow these three men, I'm willing to live in Alaska. And I said, baby, I'm so proud you said that because me and you living a thousand miles apart is going to put a strain on our marriage. <laughs> now, now this is the real, here's what I want you to hear more than anything else. With Karen's blessing, we moved to Texas and we got started. I worked hard for 14 months. And I had the power of a made-up mind on my side. Let me tell you something, folks. 14 months of hard effort. On January the 10th, I had a, an additional issue or opportunity with my heart. And then again in March. The one in March, they told my wife Karen that she needed to get all of her financial stuff in order. My wife boldly told the doctor, it's already in order. You know why? Because Chris and Jerry, week in and week out, called and let her know, 
Don't worry about nothing but Ronnie's health. You are going to get paid for the rest of your life until using energy goes out of style. Thank y'all. I got one more thing, so don't clap long. It would be, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm running over. Please give me. It would be a sin for me to accept this privilege and honor and such a special thing if I didn't just say the names of a f just a handful of people that has given Karen and I the right to live however we choose to live for the rest of our lives and our grandbabies after that. Folks, let me tell you something. It started when I met for the first time, when I located the Baker Ming group, and I am so grateful for them. Shortly after that, I got introduced to Jerry Watts and Pam Watts. And all of these people I'm telling you are all in season to make and very, very close in the making. And through that wonderful pair, we got to know Charles Mackey. We got to know Randy Crosby. We got to know Stan Hollowell. And then we got to know Jack and Judy Eaton. And there are hundreds of great leaders in their downline. And then God blessed me with an opportunity to get to 